Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been really nice to hear from so many of you over the last few days. I really hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Feel free to send me a message if there's anything you want to talk about. Today, however, I'm going to try and distract all of you and uh, we're going to have a look at a new song. This one's going to be Sam Fender, Will We Talk? So we're going to begin with the introduction and also the verse chords. Now luckily for us the introduction moves really really quickly into the verse. There's only kind of one chord we're going to be playing and that's just going to be a C sharp major or you could do it as a C sharp power chord. Both are fine. The most important thing we want to remember of this part is just to make sure we've got the rhythm down. It should just sound a little bit like this. Just do that a little bit slower. As we move into the verse chords then, we're going to continue on a C-sharp major, going to a G-sharp major, and then an F-sharp major. Now the rhythm is going to change ever so slightly between the introduction and the verse. So the verse rhythm should sound a little bit more like this. Now if I just play the introduction going into the verse, you'll notice the difference, it just sounds like this. this rhythm down is essential for playing along with the drums. With the backing track it just sounds like this. So you're going to notice that I've just changed guitars now and that's because for the lead guitar parts I thought it would be a bit of fun to crank the gain just ever so slightly, not too much but it will be noticeable just to add a bit of a dynamic in the song and I thought it would be a bit of fun just to bring the Les Paul out for that. Anyway, let's talk about the first bit of lead guitar then and this is going to feature through all of the verses and it just goes like this. <laughs> So immediately you're going to notice it's the exact same rhythm as what we've done with the chords. So the two parts will be running side by side or parallel if you like and all we're going to be doing is playing the second fret of our B and then the fourth fret of our E. And like I say it runs through all of the verses and with the backing track it just sounds like this. So 
So immediately you're going to notice it's the exact same rhythm as what we've done with the chords in the verses. So the two parts will be running sort of parallel together and we're just going to be playing the second fret of our B and the fourth fret of our E. <laughs> And with the backing track, it sounds like this. Let's now talk about the chorus chords. Now we're going to be in really familiar territory here. We haven't got any new chords, just our F sharp major, G sharp and C sharp. And we're going to spend the majority of the time switching between the F sharp and the G sharp, just going up and down. And then eventually we're going to resolve it to our C sharp. It should just sound like this. And with the backing track, it sounds like this. So once again I've picked up the Les Paul and we're going to be talking about some of the chorus lead guitar parts and we've only got a couple to play here. If you've got three guitar players handy then you can do all of the parts, rhythm and both lead parts. If not you can just pick and choose which one you want to play. So let me break it down for you then. The first bit of lead guitar kind of carries on from the lead guitar we were playing in the verses and it just sounds like this. So you can see I've got that really similar shape. I've got the fourth fret of our E and second fret of our B. And as the chords change, I'm gonna put my ring finger onto the fourth fret of the B as well. And you can see that's all downstrokes as well. The second bit of lead guitar we can play is just going to be a little octave part and that sounds like this. So you can see there I'm jumping between the 4th and 6th frets and remember we're playing octaves so we want to do the 4th fret of our A, skip out the D string and then the 6th fret of our G and then shift that up all 2 frets so we've got the 6th and 8th frets. We're now going to talk about a lead guitar part which happens just in the second verse and that sounds like this. So you can see here we're starting on the 4th fret of our E and then moving over to the 6th fret of our A to the 4th and then back to the 4th fret of our E. And then we're going to 
do that again. And the second time, we're gonna go down to the second fret of our E. And then back again. And then just hold on our fourth fret of our A. So together, let me just recap that. It just sounds like this. We're just going to have a quick talk about the bridge. This is a really simple part, we've only got one thing to do, we're just going to make an octave at our C sharp, and what we're going to do is just bring down that 4th fret of our A, down to the 3rd, and then back up again, while maintaining the 6th fret of our G, and that just sounds like this. and then we're back into the final chorus. I know that sounds horrible now, but in context with the backing track, it sounds a lot better. So that was my lesson on Sam Fender, Will We Talk. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next lesson.